first, I'd say one thing in particular. When you're getting out and you're starting off, you're starting off at a new wage. You're starting off at a starting wage. We're lowering the tax rates on the taxpayer just like you. So instead of having you tax at, say, 25%, you go down to, 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 to 15 and 12% tax bracket. So basically, lower your tax rates, let you keep more money. Double your standard deduction so that when you're coming out of college, you just got a simple system. You can fill out your, your, your taxes basically on a form like a postcard. So you get to keep more of your money in the first place. But here's the thing that I think is better, and this is very, very good for millennials, simply because we want you to have more money in your pocket to start with. But what we really want to accomplish, especially for our youth in America, is a healthier economy. The problem I think we've got is economy. And this is a broader statement is you got a lot of people coming out of college really in debt. I mean, a lot of debt. And they're not getting the careers they want. They're not getting the pay they need. They're not getting the opportunities that they're hoping for. And guess what? That's what you get with a slow economy. We had the worst recession in our lifetimes in 2008. And ever since then, we've been limping along. Ever since then, we've had flat economic growth. We've been growing between 1% and 2%, which, by the way, is really slow. We used to grow our economy above 3%. So the whole purpose of all of this is to get our economy growing faster. We get our economy growing faster, that means we get more jobs. We get more jobs, that means you have more opportunities coming out of college to get a better paycheck. We get faster economic growth, we get more jobs, we get higher wages. You know what the Tax Foundation says about this tax plan, this nonpartisan tax foundation? We're going to get about a million new jobs in this country. We're going to have over 3% higher wages. We're going to have higher take-home pay for workers across the board, on average $2,500, to, in $2,900 in Virginia, on average, because of the faster wage growth we get, the after-tax return. 